launch at a different ramp this morning. We'll be on the water by 6.15. So we've been sitting here at our first spot for about half an hour now, just waiting for seven o'clock to roll around so we can make that first cast. Little time check, 6.59. Let's get things going.
Golo Lodge Mountain. A little mixed bag action. We got a 27, 18 pounds there's old big mama right there and then we've got some some quality spots to go with her so decent day so far today we're looking up shallow now Dalty's throwing her on the wacky rig and uh, we got about two hours of fish Dalton and Derek from Adrian College. Set them in there. For today, 1861, guys, good job. Where were you guys? Thank you. University of Kentucky. What's going on, y'all? Um, if you made it this far, thank y'all for watching. I really do appreciate it. But I wanted to touch on a couple things right there at the end of the video that maybe a couple of you noticed. Um, but if you go back a couple seconds, you'll see I didn't look very happy on stage. Now, there was a reason for that. Um, this tournament was ran a little different. It was lines in, lines out deal. It was apparently it was, the call was made because of weather. Um, practice was pretty windy, but Derby Day, I mean, I don't think there's a three footer out on that lake. Um, so I don't really agree with the call, but it ultimately isn't up to me. 
So the way this tournament was going to be ran was lines in at 7, lines out at 3. You had to be back to Green Pond to check in by 4.30. Um, and check in was right next to the weigh-in line. So you had to have your bag of five fish ready to go in order to check in. So pretty much the way they wanted you to do it was they wanted you to check in and walk over to the weigh-in line. Theoretically, this is a great idea, but there's no flights. Everyone's kind of rolling in around the same time. And pretty much that bag line gets backed up real far. So if you guys have ever been to Green Pond, you know that main amphitheater is right there. Bag line was off to the right. And then I'd say that line pretty much almost went to the bathrooms down to the right um, just for those that have been there but this line was ridiculous I mean it probably took us 45 minutes to an hour to get through and big lessons were learned in that line for me you know it just didn't really click in my head I figured okay this is how we're doing it we're getting in line we gotta wait our turn but it was freaking 75 degrees out there if not hotter that asphalt's even hotter than that and we've got black crushed city bags sitting right on the concrete and this is just a recipe for disaster if you guys know anything about fish care and it just kind of went right over my head in the moment so once we got up to the guy that checks in our fish we ended up having one that was pretty much gone i mean he was gone he wasn't stiff but his eyes were discolored and you could just kind of tell he wasn't breathing anymore so I was pretty frustrated with that call, especially because you guys literally saw the video of me pulling out all five of them, all very alive. We did our job. We got them back to weighing alive. And unfortunately, they died in line due to being on that concrete for so long. Well, with me being that frustrated, Dalton was just as frustrated. We jumped up on stage and uh, we actually had 19.11 pounds. But with that dead fish penalty, we got knocked down a little bit and we potentially had big fish at the tournament. So on our scale, that big largemouth I caught went about five pounds, 14 ounces, something around there. Um, and their scales were weighing a tad bit heavy and big bass ended up being 6.1 pounds. So it just kind of sucks being right there with that fish and not being able to weigh it in. Uh, pretty much we weighed our fish in, jumped off stage, uh, grabbed the fish out of the bag and I was like holy crap I didn't weigh this thing in so I rushed up tried to get him to weigh it they weren't having it and I understand rules are rules I walked off the stage and didn't say anything but it was the second biggest bag of the tournament and you know most directors might say something to you just slipped my mind big lesson learned there big lesson learned on fish care in the line because ultimately you know my job isn't done until those fish are checked in so two big lessons learned day one but uh, I just wanted to hop on here, kind of explain that to you guys. Maybe you'll learn something from my mistakes. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a great day on Harwell. I mean, easily the best day I've ever had out there. Practice went great for us. We caught a bunch of spots. That largemouth was definitely a surprise, but we did catch a couple largemouth in that area. So stay tuned for day two. Um, we ended up doing pretty well in this tournament. So I'll try to have that out pretty, pretty quick here. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned.